Welcome back everybody. Thank you for watching. Finally, we have a little break from that insane heat wave that came through last week. Man, the last two or three videos I did, it was like 105 degrees with 90% humidity and it was brutal. So it's much nicer today and I'm just excited to be out here uh, making a video and not sweating to death. So recently I uploaded a video on this little thing. This is a 22 TCM 9R conversion barrel that was sent to me by Turtle Lake Tactical and this thing just drops right in my Glock 17. If you haven't seen the video go check it out. I'll try to link it at the top of the screen here. It was actually a pretty cool video but immediately in the comments I had about 10 of you guys ask me to shoot this round into some soft body armor and see if it can make it through. So today I got the old bulletproof vest back out. I have done a video on this before. As you can see, we've already got some bullet holes in it, but this is a level 3A vest and it's rated to stop everything up to a 44 Magnum. And in that last video, it did stop all the pistols that we shot at it. So I'm kind of curious to see how the 22 TCM will do. Now, I gotta say there are other 22 caliber pistols like the 5.7 for instance, that will rip straight through soft body armor and they're really popular for that reason. It's actually a pretty awesome gun, but they're not cheap either. So obviously a 22 TCM drop-in barrel is a lot cheaper than buying an FN 5.7. So let's see how it does. All right, we got our vest on my steel torso plate and behind it, I duct taped a pack of computer paper so that it can kind of soften the impact a little bit and make it more like someone's wearing the vest instead of those bullets just hitting hard steel. So let's hit it with a couple other calibers first just to make sure it stops them. We're gonna start with a nine millimeter. All right, there's our nine millimeter hole on the front of the vest. And yeah, it stopped it no problem. You can see that the vest is kind of swollen up in there where it stopped that bullet, but it don't even look like it left a mark on our computer paper. Let's try the 40 Smith & Wesson out of the Glock 23. All right, our 40 hit right there. I kind of shot high with that one, but look at how the vest reacts when it gets hit with a bullet. It like expands up like crazy. Now, I don't think, yeah, the 40 also did not make it through, but it did do a little bit of damage to our computer paper. So it didn't make it through, but I wouldn't want to get shot with that. <laughs> Let's try the 45 ACP out of the Smith & Wesson Shield. All right, our 45 went in right there below the nine millimeter and the 45 just fluffed this thing up like crazy. <laughs> it's so weird how it does that. But looking at the backside, definitely didn't make it through and actually uh, didn't even damage our paper at all either. So the 45 is actually the slowest blow up that I've shot so far. And when it comes to defeating armor like this, speed is what it takes. So I'm not surprised that the 45 didn't make it through. All right, it's time for the moment of truth. I got the 22 TCM barrel and my Glock 17. And if you didn't see the last video, here's what the bullet looks like. One of the weirdest looking bullets I've ever seen. It's the same size as a nine millimeter shell casing. So it works in the mags just fine, but obviously it's necked up in the front to hold that 22 caliber bullet. So let's see if it makes it through. I don't think it's going to. Now I wish I had a full metal jacket. That would obviously be better or some kind of like armor piercing round, but all I could find were the hollow points. So let's see if it gets through that. Well, I don't know if you guys could see that, but the sound in the fireball was way bigger than any of the other guns we shot. <laughs> All right, our 22 TCM went in right there on the top and it definitely didn't fluff the Vesta <laughs> like the other ones did. Let's look at the backside here. No way. <laughs> There's a hole on the back of the vest and a big old hole in the computer paper. Let me see this. So you can see that hole right there. It's the only hole on the back of this vest. Now it's kind of hard to tell if the bullet's actually in there or if it just hit it really hard, but there is a hole in the back of this vest. So it definitely went through. Let me dig in this pack of paper and see if I can find it. Well, unfortunately I can't seem to find that bullet. I just spent like 30 minutes looking on the ground and digging through this big old pack of paper. As you can see, <laughs> the damage was pretty deep too. It was like a third of the way through this thing. So it uh, definitely hit it pretty hard. I even cut into the vest a little bit just to make sure it wasn't like lodged in there. 
and there's no bullet in that vest so it definitely went all the way through maybe the slow-mo will tell us something like maybe we'll see the bullet fall into the ground or something i don't know what i want to do now is hang the vest back up and shoot it again to see if we can get it to go through a second time just to make sure it wasn't a fluke now i don't have any more paper so i'm gonna have to hang it right on the steel but at least we'll get to know if that bullet does go through that vest a second time So that's the first hole that we shot into the paper and like I said I cut it open a little bit when I was trying to find that bullet it was actually a pretty small hole and this one is the one that I just shot and that is an enormous hole on the back side of that vest so it's obviously going straight through it uh, I didn't really hear it hit the steel but honestly I don't hear these bullets hit the steel even when I'm just shooting the steel there's such a small round and the gunshot's so loud that that doesn't really surprise me but man I wish I could find some of these bullets but as you can tell they're easily going straight through this vest. Well, I think I'm gonna wrap it up here, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you liked today's video. This one was actually at the request of a lot of you guys, and I'm glad that we did this today because, well, I was a big fan of this caliber before, and uh, now I'm really impressed with it. So I wanna thank Turtle Lake Tactical one more time for sending out the 22 TCM 9R conversion barrel. I've had a blast with this thing, and I've really enjoyed uh, getting to make these videos for you guys. So go visit TurtleLakeTactical.com and use the coupon code one shot to save 10% on your order. And uh, yeah, I really don't want to send it back, but <laughs> uh, it's probably that time. So if you guys did like this video, please let me know in the comment section below. And if you would like to help support the channel, I will put a link to my Patreon in the description box and you can visit me over there. But if you did like this video, guys, please smash that like button for me. I would really appreciate it. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you next time.